yesterday's gospel is one of the best known and most loved of all the resurrection stories. Two people are on a journey home. They are experiencing fear and doubt. Then someone joins them and he starts to explain what has happened and how the scriptures had foretold this. And when they reach their destination, their hope has been restored. He joins them for supper, blesses the bread and breaks it. As their eyes are opened and they recognise Jesus, he vanishes from their sight. It is, of course, the journey to Emmaus. We are currently on a journey full of confusion, fears and doubt, as we live with the consequences of the coronavirus. It's a time when we need the great Christian virtues, love, faith and perhaps especially hope. Not the vague wishy-washy hope which is not much better than wishful thinking, but the true virtue, well described by Václav Havel, playwright and president of post-communist Czechoslovakia. Hope is not the conviction that something will turn out well, but the certainty that something makes sense, regardless of how it turns out. Today the Church remembers Christina Rossetti, a Victorian poet, a committed Christian, a member of the pre-Raphaelite group of artists. We probably know her best for her Christmas carol in the bleak midwinter. One of her poems speaks of a journey to a longed-for destination. It's a dialogue between two people, the first uncertain and afraid, the second like Christ on the road to Emmaus, bringing understanding and hope. It's called Uphill. Does the road wind uphill all the way? Yes, to the very end. Will the day's journey take the whole long day? From morn to night, my friend. But is there for the night a resting place? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin? May not the darkness hide it from my face? You cannot miss that in. Shall I meet other wayfarers at night? Those who have gone before. Then must I knock or call when just in sight? They will not keep you standing at that door. Shall I find comfort, travel sore and weak? Of labour you shall find the sum. Will there be beds for me and all who seek? Yea, beds for all who come. May we all live in the hope that we shall find that in our resting place in God. <laughs>